Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump one-on-one -on -one in a fierce presidential debate. The two nominees squared off tonight for the first time. Fox's Jill Waldman is at Hofstra University in New York with the highlights. Just go to her website. She tells you how to fight ISIS on her website. I don't think General Douglas MacArthur would like that right, too much. Next, With just six weeks until Election Day, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump squaring off in their first one-on-one -on -one showdown Monday evening. Anyway, well, at least I have a plan to fight ISIS. No, no, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. Both came ready to attack. I think my husband did a pretty good job in the 1990s. I think a lot about what worked and how we can make it work again. Well, he approved NAFTA. Million new jobs, he approved a NAFTA, balanced budget, which is the single worst trade deal incomes, ever approved in this country. Incomes went up for everybody. I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes. When she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. The candidates in a virtual dead heat in the polls coming into the matchup. It's politicians like Secretary Clinton that have caused this problem. Our country has tremendous problems. We have a country that needs new roads, new tunnels, new bridges, new airports, new schools, new hospitals. And we don't have the money because it's been squandered on so many of your ideas. Let's and respond maybe and we'll because you haven't paid any federal income tax for a lot of years. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton will tangle two more times. Their next presidential debate is less than two weeks away on October 9th. Meanwhile, the first and only vice presidential debate is set for next Tuesday. On the campus of Hofstra University in Long Island, Joel Waldman, WSBT 22 News. As many as 100 million people were expected to watch tonight's debate. Now that would be the largest debate audience ever. There were watch parties set up to see the debating groups. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is at one of those parties at Notre Dame. And Patrick, what was the reaction like there? Yeah, Rick, there were a lot of gasps, the occasional cheers, and even some laughter. It's kind of hard to see behind me right now, but there was estimated 1,500 students here. They've kind of panned out since the debate has ended. Now, about two of the biggest cheers that we heard tonight, the first was when Hillary Clinton called for equal pay for women, and then when Donald Trump said he'd release his tax returns if Hillary Clinton released the deleted emails. Like we said, there were 1,500 people here on the quad, and it's important to note that millennials actually now make up the largest voting bloc in terms of demographics here in the country. Clinton, in particular, has had some uh, problems when it comes to convincing millennials to vote for her. And we don't really know whether tonight's the debate squared, swayed any voters here. But experts say that a big part of any date isn't just convening, convincing people to vote for you. It's to make sure that you don't have any sort of gaffe that would make people vote against you. If you do have a gaffe, or you have a quote that is perfect in soundbite length and represents the worst of a candidate, whether that's Trump or Clinton, you will hear that again and again, and they don't go away. Now, it's also worth pointing out Notre Dame President Father Jenkins was actually at tonight's debate. He's on the commission that helped set up the debates. And I spoke to a couple students here earlier today to get their reaction as the debate was going on. We'll show you what they had to say and what they took away from tonight's debate coming up on WSBT 22 News at 11. Live in Notre Dame, Patrick Roth, WSBT 22 News. Now we're going to take a look at what all this means tomorrow night. Join us for an online town hall meeting called Your Voice, Your Future. Our team of national correspondents will break down the debate and have reaction from top political experts. That's tomorrow at 7 p.m. on WSBT.com. We'll be right back.